Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, welcome to your bonus reading. It's going to be a quick reading. Um, energies can move, vice versa, so pick your side. And um, this may or may not resonate. So if you do need a constant reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. So someone's trying to get out of their head, but I'm getting like someone who's trying to like, you know, now I, this can go two ways, okay? Either this is someone here who you feel very backstab in the back, okay? You feel very, sorry, not backstab in the back. You feel very backstab cheated, okay, by this person here, okay? And now you're trying to recover from this, okay? And you're wanting to pick up the pieces and move forward. Or the other thing I'm getting is someone out here is wanting to get out of their head, okay? They probably want to release the body. They want to sleep better here, okay? And this person wants to come back here after there's been an ending, okay? Things have ended badly between guys and this person out here is wanting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? We'll see. Tell me what are uh, Leo's energies towards this person? What are your energies, Leo, towards this person that you're dealing with? Give me one card. Six of Wands, King, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, see? Someone wants to come towards you and now they want to move things forward, okay? <clears throat> this could be someone who was um, lacking commitment or someone who didn't want to move forward with you. Something didn't work out with this person, okay? Only because this person wasn't confident enough to approach you, okay? Or confident enough to take this to the next level. This is someone coming towards you, Leo. Now, this could be you, this could be them, okay? Now, I'm going to read it as Leo so that I don't get confused. Leo, you want to move towards someone here and wanting to offer this person an apology or wanting to offer this person something stable, something secure. Definitely, it's a very small offer coming from you, okay? But you're definitely wanting to... Um, you know, uh, raise the white flag here. You want a peaceful resolution for sure with this person, okay? And you're very determined to have success with this person, to have wanting to have victory with this person. Okay, tell me what this what is on this person's mind, okay? What are the energies of this person that Leo's dealing with? This person is wanting to avoid a disaster, okay? Whoever you're dealing with, Leo. Someone who things completely crashed with, okay? Things crumbled between you guys because the relationship or the connection was not built on a uh, uh, on a concrete foundation. It was a very faulty foundation, okay? The universe gave you a lot of signals, gave this person a lot of signals. They wouldn't listen. They, they, they went with it, okay? Now this person's cards are up, okay? It's going to be a tough nut for you to crack if you're wanting to go towards this person, cross water, vice versa here. Seven of Wands is the energy of me as if someone's like, back the fuck off, okay? Leave me alone. That's a very defensive energy, okay? Someone who has their guards up because they've been, they've been hurt in the past. Seven of Wands is also the energy of someone who's blocking something, okay? It could be blocking something good coming your way, but this person's guarded and they're standing their ground, okay? Nope. They're, they're just like, you know what? I don't want no chaos. I don't want no destruction, okay? Anymore with you because they know that with you, it just gets nowhere. Okay, the tower in reverse is someone's just trying to avoid something from, uh, you know, completely hitting the roof. Okay, because they know that something's just not going to be good. Okay, it's things are just going to get end badly with you like they ended in the past here. See? Yeah. So that's what's happening here. This person's not going to let you in. It's not going to be easy is what I'm saying. Okay, it's not going to be easy. They're going to give you a tough fight. But then I see you also very determined, okay, for the six year. They're just one step ahead of you. <laughs> okay, how does Leo view this person? How does Leo view this person? Yeah, you view this person as someone very, very focused on their career, money, goals, business, etc. Focused on their own stability, okay? You view this person as who probably wanted something stable or they're very focused on their stability, security. Some are very mature, very practical, very grounded, okay? You could also be viewing this as someone who's doing very well financially, okay? A businessman, a business owner, okay? Someone very entrepreneurial is what I'm getting, but this, you see them as, you view them as someone who's moving on, no longer crying over spilt milk, okay? How does this person view you, Leo? How does this person view you? This person views you as the chariot and the queen of swords here. They view you as someone, you know what, who's cutting them off and moving forward. Okay. No, this person views you as someone... Sorry, this person views you as someone <clears throat> who's wanting forward movement, 
okay but with clarity okay the queen of swords is someone who wants honest truthful communication here okay they want to move forward with you this person views you as someone who wants to move forward with them but you want clarity okay you want no fucking around anymore okay with the chariot here someone who's very strong will very determined okay to take action to move forward here okay why is all this happening why is all this happening why is all this happening Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Someone's coming towards you in full speed, okay? This person, there's going to be a lot of communication coming from this person here. This person wants to work on a partnership with you. They want to now collaborate, compromise. They want to be with you on the same page. They want to redo the connection. They're ready to put in the work, the effort, investment into you, everything, okay? And whatever this person wants to do, this could be someone you're dealing with long distance, but a lot of communication back and forth is what I'm getting, okay? But this person is wanting to move, pick things up really fast now, okay? After things ended between you guys. Because they can't sleep at night, right? They're in panic mode and they want to get out of their head, you know? They see the light at the end of the tunnel. Finally, somewhere, somehow, they see a ray of hope that they can still get this relationship back after it ended, okay? After they've hit rock bottom with you. But yeah, this is why all this is happening. They're now wanting to come towards you. Although they see you as moving forward here, you see this person as someone, you know, with the Queen of Swords, you're someone, you know, who you cut them off, I feel, you know, because they weren't taking action. Yeah, yeah, you cut them off because they weren't taking action, because they weren't taking control of the situation is what I'm getting. Okay, or they see you. It's confusing. You understand what I'm saying, right? You know which side to pick. <clears throat> but yeah, someone's coming in. One person's coming in to make things right. Okay, for sure. Like, let's redo this. Let's talk. Let's build together, okay? And there's going to be a lot of communication coming in. That's why all this is happening. Someone definitely wants to make move things forward, like, really quick. They're picking up the pace now, okay? See how much determination this person has, okay? Whether this is you, this is them. Someone's very determined, you know, to make things right. Because they view you as someone who's moving on. Was this person out here? Now, this could be Yulia, who has just completely blocked their ass, okay? Social media their number, everything, okay, you block them out because you're like, no, you're just nothing but a big fat mess, okay, and I ain't dealing with you anymore. You view this definitely as someone who just didn't take control of the situation, okay? Could be someone who was very cold and detached and someone who was all about themselves, okay? You could view them as someone who made a very head over heart decision, someone who was very logical and practical, someone who didn't let their emotions overpower their uh, logic or their intelligence, whatever, right? But you did view them as someone with a chariot here. I'm getting someone who you, you know, uh, wasn't taking control of the situation or they were trying to, they were just very hesitant is what I'm getting. Okay. Tell me what is the best possible outcome for this spread? What is the best possible outcome for this spread for Leo? What is the best possible outcome for this spread for Leo? There is a lot of love here, but there is a lack of reconciliation here. Yeah. Yep. There is a lack of reconciliation. Is someone still indecisive, keeping things on the edge? Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? See, that's that lame ass page of pentacles here, right? Because you block them. So probably I feel that even if they come in to communicate with you, it's not gonna, you're, you're not going to give them an easy battle. I don't even know if you're going to give them um, a second chance is what I'm getting. I'm getting no, no second chances given. Okay. Although the love is there, the love is there, but no second chances given. Honestly, that's a bad judgment call here. Okay. You could be dealing with someone here who's still indecisive. Okay. Someone who has a history of making bad decisions, but... I feel this person loves you, but they're still hesitant on coming towards you with a reconciliation. See, that's how you view them, right? You view them as someone, you know, who's probably not, uh, very cold and, you know, uh, you cut them off. That's how I think you view them, okay? Because they were just not... And see, that's why you're so defensive. You won't let this person come in, okay? So I still feel there's a lack of reconciliation is the best possible outcome. Again, even if the love is there, it just won't. Because this is someone not wanting to have a, a resurrection, okay? They want this, but I think they're not taking a step towards you. Or this is you who's just like, no, I'm done. Finito. Nothing happening between us, okay? That's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.